Hello everyone, welcome to a tutorial on how to do a flight plan using the flight plan software for, for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Uh, this is the external website software, it can be located at planner.flightsimulator.com. Uh, link will be down in the description. Uh, we're going to go through a VFR flight, or excuse me, an IFR flight, and see how it goes. First, we're going to protect pick our aircraft. We're going to, I'm going to go with the longitude because I know that one actually works right now. We're going to grab the longitude and I figure we're going to go from KTEX Telluride well, IFR 35,000 feet. Oh, we'll see where we're going. We're going from Telluride this, the scroll feature is really slow on this and we're going to go up to Salt Lake which is KSLC. Salt Lake City. Because it's IFR, we're going to go ahead and have it do auto route. And it routes us on our VFR airways. And now what we will do, we're not going to worry about alternates. You can add alternates. Oh, we can add an alternate. We'll do an alternate of uh, Micro alternate right there. What is that? K H I F. For our alternate, which is an Air Force Base. <laughs> but there we go. It's really pretty simple once you do get the hang of it, but it's just a matter of putting in your. You can also go suggested routes. It'll give you other options occasionally. Direct or that one. That's all we have. Speed of 325. 35,000 feet. Now, we want to be even numbers, so about 34. Because West is even odder. So it's about 50 minutes. Now, flight details. You can set your registration number if you have an airline or you can make your own custom airlines flight numbers call signs you can do all that here you can also do it in the sim so and fuel doesn't seem to be working here <laughs> it will not calculate the fuel here yet it does give you your briefing which doesn't add the fuel in it so it won't calculate your fuel here, but it will once we're back in the sim. So we go back down to route here, and we just come down here, real simple, and save. Save the flight plan. We can name it KTEX to KSLC. And what's cool is you can also copy the link to share the flight plan, and then you can just paste the link to anybody. And they click the link and it'll bring up the plan here. And then they can save it from there and have it in the sim that way. So once it's saved, we will go ahead and cut to where we loaded in the sim. And then we'll be back in a few. Okay, everybody, we're back. And we're going to go on into the free flight in the sim. And we're going to get rid of the TBM because it's not working with the thing, but we're going to go with the longitude. Pick our aircraft. Now, when we come to the world map, we want to go down here to our EFB. Go to our flight plan. And load a flight plan. If you ever wonder why loading flight plans doesn't show up, nothing shows up because they're from the menu outside the sim or made inside the sim. There's our KTEX. Tell your ride to Salt Lake City. Go ahead and load it. It will give us our route. <laughs> and uh, take off runway 16. Da, 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 da. We can do our approach. Arrival, we can add an approach in the Salt Lake. Excuse me. I think we got to go. We want, uh, we'll do an RNAV into 16. There we go. We can add that procedure to our 
floor plan. Now, you can file a plan with ATC, which will make it show up here. It'll bring it into your... Yeah, the altitude, some reason, cuts through mountains. The line does. I have no idea why yet. Even with the altitude set, gives us our fuel, how much we should have, the distance, and the time. We'll go back to the tab here. Now it'll do the fuel. Figures our fuel. You can set all your information here for your IFR, VFR. You can do your registration, your virtual airline. You can all do it in here. Where you set your fuel weights, how much you want. In passengers and cargo, but you can't do your fuel here, but that's where you do your fuel. How much your expenditure for taxi, how much your trip is going to use, contingency, your final reserve, how much you want to have left in the tank. You can do extra fuel. Gives you all your information here, but it won't. Doesn't seem to load the plane yet from here, unfortunately. So what I do is what I've had to do because it wasn't loading my plane with the proper amount of fuel. So I know my block fuel is 159. So I go back here, go to the plane, go to configure, unfortunately. There is a way to do it from inside that once you're in the plane, but if you want to do it ahead of time. You know, fuel and payload. And we were, it gives you a marker on here where your fuel is, <laughs> which is nice. Come back into here. It tells you what your fuel, your fuel marker is for the, for the flight. We'll give ourselves, we'll pad a little bit, but it gives you to there and you save. And now when you go back, your plane, when you get to the runway, will be fueled. Now I did not do one thing I sent it to I sent it to the uh, ATC but you can also send the route to your avionics now this is not working on all avionics packages so just putting that out there I brought up the the longitude because that one I do know it does load the entire flight plan so we'll go ahead and start the flight and I'll show you what it looks like inside the aircraft and we're not going to actually fly the flight, but. Okay, now we're in the sim. We're going to go ahead and take a look at how we can load it up in the sim as well. It's already it's already loaded if you send it to the avionics on some. Not all are working yet, but it's in here. And if it's not in here or you want to load it at a later time, all you have to do is go up here. Pull up your tablet. And right here, you load your flight plan. And there's our K tax right there. We'll load in exactly what we have. You can send to your avionics from here. You can file with your ATC from here. Same as you can in the world map. And it's that simple. And it will give you all your settings you can set on down through. Same as before pounds, your passengers, your weights, your fuel. That's it. Pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. It's a couple extra steps. Your flight altitude is 34,000. Our cruise. We can add an alternate if we want. It didn't pick it up from the last one. And that's it. That's literally, you make it in the website, which, like I said, there will be a link in the description, as well as you can make it in the sim the same way. So that's basically how you do it from here. It's uh, pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. It's just a matter of saving from the website and pulling it up in here. Um, there's other ways to load if you have a plan file separately. But it's really that simple. Oh, you can also request routes from Avionics. If you have 750 and you've done your route from another way, you can pull the route in. Like if you've used... Uh, Navigraph, you can pull the route in from your avionics into this. Uh, haven't done it yet, but that's the purpose of that. <laughs> so on that note, we're going to leave this one here.
and we hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.